What is up, guys? Digital VFX here once again. Uh, I haven't made a tutorial in a while. The last song I released was my song, The Fire Remix. <clears throat> uh, I've been getting some pretty good feedback on that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check that out. And this is going to be one of my first tutorials not in FL Studio. Oh my god. Uh, it's actually going to be about music. It has to do with After Effects. And I used to use After Effects in Premiere Pro all the time. Why do you think my channel is called Digital VFX? Digital Video FX? I can't talk. But that is the reason I used to be really big into video editing. And I've been getting some questions on how I did the effects on my last video. Um, it's very easy, actually. So I'm going to be using my song, uh, The Fire Remix. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out or you'll probably hear a little bit of it in here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this bring it into After Effects, throw it on my composition, uh, project, the thingy, Dropbox, you know. Also, you can right click and do import, throw it in there. What I'm going to do then, sorry, is uh, going to throw this down here. And I actually, I'm going to have to try to remember how to do this. So as you can see, I have the song in there. You're not going to be able to hear it because I don't have rant, or I don't have the... RAM preview with sound on, but alas, uh, you're going to go to layer, new, solid, okay, just make it a black solid, throw that on top, and then you're all set, now what you're going to do is go into your effects, uh, effect, let's see, I gotta click on this, you're going to, where's the effects thing, give me a sec to find this, window, is there an effects window on here? Effects and presets. There we go. Can you go to view effects and presets window? Make sure this doesn't freeze. Come on. There we go. Has my effects and presets. Then you are going to go to what is it? Audio. Going to go to audio, and then maybe not. Oh, you're going to go into Generate, and it's actually called Audio Spectrum, and you're going to throw that on the black solid, and here you go, you have your lines, and as you can see as I'm, oh, my bad, what you have to do is uh, right up here, Audio Layer, set that to your song, okay? So once you set your Audio Layer up here to your song, that links it to your song here, uh, let me go back to Project. And as you can see, as I play, starts playing those. Okay, so that means you know you did it right. Um, and so what you're going to do now is you're going to click the draw to get back here. What you can either select this, but if you accidentally exit this out, oh no, I exited out of that. You can go here into your solid, drop down the effects, double click on audio spectrum, and there are your effects controls. Now let me walk you through what uh what what these are start frequency is what it starts at the very lowest as you can see the very low when I actually have s music uh, that's where it starts I just set that leave that 20 what it was um, the end frequency that's how high it ends frequency bands these are how many of them there are so you can see they're very it's this is more of an audio wave uh, rather than equalizer lines and uh, you can put that back to as little as you want like this I'm gonna leave that maybe a hun big old hundo that'll be good <clears throat> and uh, maximum height as you can see that's how high they get that was wow uh, yeah um, let's uh yeah let's put that down just a little bit that's good um, yeah that'll be fine uh, audio duration I don't really need to worry about that thickness that speaks for itself. That's how thick they are. Um, set that three where it was close enough. Oh, uh, whatever. Softness. I think that's the edges, or that might be how like jittery they go. I, I have no idea. Don't really care. Inside color, you could set it to anything. Uh, outside color, set it to anything. Speaks for itself. Um, and then. Scroll down, 
right here side options this side a is up side b is down side a and b is up and down display options digital are these lines that are like equalizers analog lines are like a heartbeat monitor uh waves so you can see you uh scrub through that you get them like that and the other ones is like dots this is pretty cool they uh they're basically all you see is the analog lines oh my bad uh is the digital lines but you just see the ends of them go up and down uh this is oh that is cool i did not notice that before i wish i would have did that now that makes it like rainbow that's cool i didn't notice that before um yeah on on uh when I, I actually i just played around with a bunch of uh colors and stuff what i did when i uh made the uh the, the video for the fire is i just kind of uh messed around with the thickness and the softness that kind of gives it a glow effect and that's actually really cool wow i wish i'm gonna save that file save as that is going to be my next uh music template uh that is going to be my next video i'm going to use that that is really cool <clears throat> um and all you could do to do it i did as text so i do this just uh get the text tool click down and there you go you just throw slap that text on there all right and that's pretty much it uh then this is what i didn't know how to do at first uh to export in after effects you're gonna down here next to your project you'll see the render queue there's nothing on there what you're going to do is go to composition whoops i'll have to click on the composition here you'll have to click composition add to render queue all right and it'll automatically go to the render queue right here output module or you're going to click right here you can select where it goes to and then render settings click on here and you can do resolution half full uh 1280 by 720 that's hd use uh frame rates and uh that's pretty self-explanatory if you know what you're talking about um, most of the time it will be on best settings which is the recommended ones which should be fine oh and another thing you might have to click um i sometimes had a problem with this because after effects doesn't always export uh right here click output module and uh audio output it doesn't automatically do this so you have to select audio output and then those those are good the way they are the settings and then uh, once you have all those done, just click render and it will, this bar will turn yellow, it will go up, it will bing when it's done, and it will be where you selected your output. And uh, then you'll have it and it'll look like this. Once it loads, because I don't have, or I don't use. my song the fire as you can see i use side a with a white fill with a blue uh blue glow um i put the the song title there and the uh <clears throat> the author underneath and that's how that's how you do it um i hope this video helped uh, always remember to comment rate subscribe um i'll throw you can actually vote for that remix right now uh it is until late july um you can vote for that song probably not gonna win because other people have hundreds of votes and i have a couple but you know it's just a fun thing to work on and uh yeah this has been another digital vfx or uh, days productions and thanks for watching